Today we are going to fix superfetch has stop working issue. It is also referred to as prefetch and it's a Windows service that catches data into the RAM so that it can be immediately available to your application. It's a Windows storage management technology that provides access to data on traditional hard drives. However, on an SSD, they may result in unnecessary or self-triggered write operations. Every time you run an application, the Windows operating system creates a prefetch file. This is a file containing information about the loaded files and over time the information in these files is used to optimize system performance by improving the loading time of the application the next time you run it. Uh, Superfetch consists of a prediction algorithm that, that tries to predict the applications you will run next and preloads them into memory. In its enabled state, it may affect the performance of some application, but also while disabled, system performance may start degrading. So, this degradation manifests itself as a system hang that lasts a while before the system gets back to normal. It also experiences 100% disk usage at the time of system hang. Our first solution is to clear Superfetch cache. To clear the cache, press and hold Windows key and press R, type prefetch and hit enter. Click on continue if you are prompted for a user account control dialog. Now here, press control and press A to select all items and then press shift and press delete. This will delete all these items permanently. Let's skip this file. Try one more time. Okay. Now restart the system and see if the issue is resolved. If the issue is not resolved, then we can try our next solution. Our next solution is to disable Superfetch. When all other fixes fail, you can permanently disable the Superfetch service, stopping the error once and for all. All you will need lose is some time while booting up your system. So to disable Superfetch, press Windows key and bring up search. Type services.msc. In services, search for Superfetch. Now double click on it and click on and select started type as disable. So once you select startup type as disabled, click on apply, click OK and then restart your computer. Once your computer gets back online, see if your issue is resolved. If not, we have another solution to try. The third solution is to perform a memory test. To test your RAM, press Windows key, type Windows Memory Diagnostic, here is the app, select restart now and check for problems. This will restart your computer. So once you restart your system, Windows will check the memory problems and this might take several minutes. Um, you'll see a blue screen and you'll see a test running. So we'll wait for the test to get complete. Once uh, it is completed, uh, we'll see if we have any problems detected or not. So right now the status is no problem in the RAM. Let's wait uh, for the rest of the process. So the test is 37% complete, no problems yet. Let's wait for the rest of the process. So the system is back online. There was no issue found. If there was any issue, uh, there were uh, two things that can be done. Uh, one, if error is found, you open your system and clean the dust you find in there, and then remove the RAM stick and clean off the dust in the slots they were in. 
you can also use a pencil eraser to clean the golden contacts on the rim and then once you have cleaned the bay and the uh, RAM stick, uh, place it back into the uh, RAM slot and then power on your computer. And then check if your issue is resolved. If not, uh, you can tell us about the exact situation in the comment section and we, we'll, we can get back to you on this. Uh, it is also important to note that Superfetch or Prefetch are also are auto disabled on SSD drive. This is because the main point of the service is to improve loading time of applications, um, but the read and write speed of SSD drive is fast enough, so it's not required there. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.